Hi, my name is Arnold Nording, and I am a design engineer in the Signal Conditioning Business Unit at Linear Technology. Today, I'm going to talk about how our new op amp, the LTC6090, can help you solve precision high voltage signal conditioning challenges. We'll look at using it to implement a wide input range instrumentation amplifier, a high voltage analog multiplexer, and a high voltage DAC buffer. The LTC6090 is the highest voltage monolithic op amp in the industry. It draws 2.8 milliamps on a power supply that may be set between 9.5 volts and 140 volts. It has CMOS inputs and rail to rail outputs. It has voltage offsets under 500 microvolts with a temperature coefficient under 3 microvolts per degree C. One of the extraordinary features of this amplifier is its input common mode rejection ratio, which exceeds 140 dB. Operating the LTC6090 on 140 volt power supplies implies the possibility of significant internal power dissipation. So the amplifier comes packaged in either an exposed pad 8-pin SOIC or a 16-pin TSSOP. Also included is a thermal overload output flag, which is asserted should the die temperature approach 150 degrees C. This logic pin may be used to disable the output stage should a thermal overload condition occur. The amplifier also features 140 dB of open loop gain, 12 MHz of gain bandwidth, 20 volts per microsecond of slew rate, and has a spot noise density of only 11 nanovolts per hertz. The dual version of the LTC6090 is called the LTC6091, and it features two LTC6090 amplifiers on a single monolithic die and is housed in a thermally enhanced 16 lead QFN package. Accurately measuring voltages often requires minimizing the impact of loading, especially when high source impedances are involved. The LTC6090 will provide the ultimate in electrometer grade buffering with its CMOS inputs typically drawing less than 5 picoamps. But unlike other CMOS amplifiers, whose fine transistors geometries limit power supply operation to 5 volts, the LTC6090 can operate on 140 volt supplies. This means that the LTC6090 will provide almost infinite input impedance to sense and buffer voltages which may vary over a plus minus 70 volt supply range without the need of input attenuation. Another outstanding feature of this part is its 140 dB of input common mode rejection. This implies that when you run the LTC6090 on 140 volt power supplies, and vary the input common mode over a specified input common mode range, you can expect the input referred offset to change less than 10 microvolts. The LTC6090 also boasts low wideband integrated noise with 140 volt peak to peak output swing capability, 140 microvolts RMS of integrated noise over 10 megahertz bandwidth, and its 140 dB of input common mode rejection. The LTC6090 has the potential to provide over 110 dB of dynamic range. The high common mode rejection makes the LTC6090 very useful in a classic buffered 3 amplifier instrumentation amp. Used in this configuration, the instrumentation amplifier presents almost infinite input impedance to accurately sense, amplify, and level shift small voltages over its plus minus 67 volt common mode range. The performance limitation of this instrumentation amplifier is primarily due to the matching of the resistor network at the output amplifier. And by using Linear Technologies LT5400 quad match resistor network, one can achieve a CMRR in excess of 86 dB without any need for calibration or trimming. Another interesting application makes use of the dual LTC6091 as a two-to-one high voltage analog multiplexer. The muxing function is performed using the LTC6091's output disable feature. Each channel of the LTC6091 comes with a logic controlled output disable pin, which when asserted will place the respective amplifier's output into a high impedance state. This allows the user to wire or the outputs of the two channels together so long as one or the other amplifier's output disable pin is asserted out of phase. 
The final application I want to show is a high voltage DAC buffer. The LTC6090 is ideal for buffering and converting low voltage unipolar DAC outputs into either high voltage bipolar or unipolar outputs. This kind of application will find use in automated test equipment or in any application where large, accurate, programmable voltages are needed from a single supply low voltage CMOS DAC. So in summary, the LTC6090 is a versatile CMOS amplifier that provides precision high voltage buffering with wide dynamic range capability. Please visit linear.com for more information. Thank you for watching. Thank you.